Good afternoon and welcome to Nora's Dog Training Company. We're here with Fred and Betsy and we're going to demonstrate all the obedience commands she's learned here at school. Now first we're going to start off by introducing the training equipment. And Fred's got a standard six foot web training leash and you'll notice he keeps the bulk of that leash folded neatly in his right hand which leaves his left hand free to make a little tiny correction. And the only correction we give here at school is a little tug and release on the training collar and that is the second piece of equipment. Now Betsy's been fitted with her very own collar and we'll show you how to properly put that on and use it when she comes home tomorrow. Now the first thing we're going to demonstrate is her ability to heal. Healing is properly walking on the leash and the command is Betsy heal. Now at this point she's got a job to do and that's to stay even with Fred's left leg. We don't want her forging ahead or lagging behind and you'll notice that whenever Fred stops Betsy's been trained to automatically sit and wait for the next command. Nice automatic sit. Now all of these commands that you're seeing here are designed to make her better behaved inside of your home. So it's going to be important when she comes home to practice with her inside and outside. Now the next command we're going to demonstrate is the stay command. The stay command is a hand and a voice command. Okay. Fred uses the flat of his left hand, a couple inches from her muzzle, no. and the one word firm command to stay. Now she went to get up and the only thing that Fred had to do was say no, gave her that little tiny correction and told her to stay again. It's important that she follows these commands and doesn't break them until she's given another one. When Fred returns back to Betsy, you'll notice he's going to walk all the way around her. And we walk around our dogs here at school for an added distraction. They should hold that and those stationary commands, whether it's a sit stay or a down stay, will help with her maturity, will help with her attention span, and we know that she needs a little bit of help with those. Nice automatic sit. And if you can see her tail's wagging, she likes this interaction with her trainer. It gives her a purpose and kind of gives her a job to do, and it keeps her stimulated. A little tail's going. Another nice automatic sit. And another nice automatic sit. Okay. Fred Givers gives her the stay command one more time. It's just a hand and a voice command. We don't use her name with these stationary commands. Now last time Fred returned back to her, he walked all the way around her. This time we're going to show you the recall or the come command. The command is Betsy come. You notice Fred lightens the tone of his voice, makes the recall a happy thing. We want her coming back to you guys to be a happy thing. And you notice she's trained to come back to you and sit as opposed to coming back to you and jumping. And, and I saw Betsy when I picked her up her ability to jump and willingness to jump is, was, was pretty intense. So if we can try to keep all four feet on the ground, that's a good thing. Fred makes a turn, she follows right there. Her shoulder blades are pretty much even with his left leg. Whenever he stops, she automatically sits. Another nice automatic sit. And we'll show you that come command one more time. These stationary commands increase your distance and increase your time. So 30 seconds working up to three minutes having her hold this sit stay. Fred will show you that come command again. That's Betsy come. You can use your leash as a little bit of a guide if you have to. Fred praises her on her way in. But she comes back, greets Fred, all four feet on the ground and that's a good thing. She's a smart girl, there's no doubt about it. It changes directions. She's right there alongside. Tail's constantly wagging. Nice automatic sit. Now the next commands we're going to get ready to set up for you are going to be the down commands. We'll start off with the down from heel position. Fred uses the flat of his left hand. The one word firm command to down. Your down stays can last anywhere from two or three minutes working up to five minutes but slowly increase that time and slowly increase your distance too. If you're working with her inside or in your backyard, you can drop the leash. When Fred returns back to her, just like with the sit stay, he's gonna walk all the way around. She shouldn't get up, which she didn't. Fred praises her for doing a good job and they take off healing again. Everything is very structured. We don't want to over praise her because you know how excited she gets. So very minimal on your praise. 
save the bulk of the praise towards the end of your training session so when you're all done you can really love her up then let her know that she did a good job nice automatic sit show you the down command again use your left hand and the one word firm command to down no, she's a little slow, and she's a little submissive too, believe it or not, sometimes. So if she doesn't go all the way down, you can either give her a little tug on that training collar, or if you notice, Fred gave her a little bit of a, a nudge towards the ground, but you can see the tail's still going. Now Fred either has a couple options from here. He can do the recall, which he does, praising her up the whole way in. She comes back, wagon says hello, but again, all four feet are on the ground. Which is, which is good for Betsy. She loves to jump. Nice automatic sit. Another nice automatic sit. And then this is going to be our distance down. It's a little bit harder for Betsy because you're getting away from her. You're not right next to her. Fred will use his right hand and the one word firm command to down. There you go. Now you can see she wants to be right next to her trainer. She crawled in a little bit, but she went down from a distance. She's done a really, really good job here at school. I know you're gonna be extremely proud of her and I'm sure you're eager to get her back home tomorrow. Amanda will be the trainer bringing Betsy home. She'll answer all of your questions. We want to thank you so much for using Nora's Dog Training Company as your personal dog trainer and we will see you tomorrow. Have a great day.